all new at five. Tracy A. McPierce shows us how police here in Atlanta are preparing right now to learn how to protect our students. APD tells me that training was already scheduled for today before the Texas school shooting happened. But after the tragedy in Uvalde, they made sure that today's training had an active shooter inside a school. We just want our officers to be ready. We want to protect our citizens the best we can. With paint bullets representing rifle and pistol fire and officers acting as students, victims and the shooter, Atlanta police are trying to train for the worst. In three different scenarios, they tested what happens when a shooter walks in firing right away. Or a scenario with a shooter barricading themselves in a room with students. I'm not coming out! And how to react when a shooter is holding hostages. Somebody help me, please! Sergeant Stephen Krieger says school shootings are unpredictable, but these scenarios are the most likely and muscle memory is crucial. The better trained our officers are, the better decisions they make under stress. Each scenario is single officer response, so these officers will be trained to immediately enter a school and eliminate any threat without having to wait for any backup. And since most officers ride alone, waiting for backup or knowing what to do in those critical moments could be the difference between life and death. Now this training is specifically for tactical field operators. APD tells me there are 100 TFOs in their department right now, but all other officers can sign up for this training throughout the year. In Southwest Atlanta, Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News.